The post-school or higher education sector does require significant expansion and diversification if it is going to adequately respond to the needs of the country, but specifically also to improved performance by our matriculants. We've made a start now in towards expanding the system radically. We're not yet there to be able to say the system can meet the numbers. We've made a start with the two new universities and of course we are planning to build a third new university which will be a dedicated health science university. We are opening 12 FET college campuses sometime during the course of this year. But we do not only need expansion, we also need diversification. Which, as you will notice, when we are talking about the more than 390,000 opportunities, we are pulling together universities, universities of technology, uh, FET colleges, learnerships, and dedicated workplace link training. Precisely because we think that we certainly have to move away from a university-based post-school education and training system. We do need to uh, diversify to provide a whole range of, uh, of other opportunities that are needed, especially by our young people. We have a very comprehensive turnaround strategy for FET colleges that we have already started implementing, parts of it with very important successes as part of improving quality, functionality, and responsiveness of our FET colleges to our skills and needs. For example, very quickly, we have now employed in all of our 50 public FET colleges, in all of them, a chartered accountant as chief financial officer. This is very important because we are putting in and we are still going to be putting in a lot of money into our FET colleges. And we know that just throwing money at the problem without that being managed properly, it's going to be a problem. We have also allocated human resources practitioners so that we make sure that the issue of human resources is managed. We are also introducing now dedicated lecturer training for FET college lecturers, pre-training, in other words, those who want to go and teach in FET colleges, ongoing professional development for lecturers, which also includes visiting and placement in real workplaces. So that a lecturer who teaches motor mechanics must know and understand engines of cars that are on the road right now not in terms of those of my own age, valiant 1966, it's no longer there on the road. So there is a whole range of measures that at some stage, if you want us to go back to that laundry way to, to discuss that, we would be more than willing to take you through our comprehensive turnaround strategy because we are committed to improving quality so that FET colleges must become institutions of choice and not be regarded right now as institutions for those who, who are not doing well, who cannot go to university. We think that message, by the way, is beginning to get across because one of our successes is that between 2010 and 2013, we almost doubled, actually, the number of students going to FET colleges, just within a two to three year period, which is a very, very important uh, achievement.